Okay, so this is a Blood Bowl um, tutorial video, and this one's going to deal with probability 101. Um, I'm a math teacher by trade, and so probability is very dear to my heart, and also a Blood Bowl player, and so probability is extremely dear to my heart from that point of view. Um, what I've got here is a combination of two dice, basically. So Blood Bowl is based on six-sided dice, so they're either one, two, three, four, five, six, or they're skull, both down, push, push, uh, defender stumbles and defender down um, and so I've got one dice over here and I've got another dice over here and each of these squares represents um, whether that dice well, represents a combination of those dice so uh, this so if I change the color of this square then that is rolling a four on one dice and rolling a one on the other dice and so that's rolling a five in total when you get those two things added together or a skull and a push for example and I'm just going to use this to illustrate um, a few of the different um, probability combinations um, in in Blood Bowl. So the idea is that um, if a result is favourable, I'm going to turn it green, and if it's unfavourable, I'm going to turn it red. Um, so if there's only one dice being used, um, then that's um, then that, I'm going to use this column, the far left column over here, because I only care about the result of this dice. And if I have to use two dice, then I combine those two things together. Okay, so what we can do here is look at probability. And what you need to realize with probability um, is something to do with equivalent probabilities. So rolling a, um, so a one in six probability, so that one there, a one in six probability. So the chance of failure, for example, if you need a two up to pick up the ball, for example, then you've got a five out of six chance. You've got five sixth chance of succeeding with that um, with that roll. So that's a two up pick up without um, any rerolls at all. So you've got a five in six, and that is exactly the same probability. So if I fill in all of these, oops, not like that. If I fill in all of these, um, the probability of so a 5 in 6 probability is exactly the same as a 30 in 36 probability. Those two probabilities are exactly the same. Um, so what we can do here is the classic, is it better to do a thing with a 2 plus or is it better to do it with 3 plus with a reroll? Okay, so that's the, the classic combination. So you might want to pick up with a gutter runner who's got a 2 plus chance of doing it, or you might want to pick up with a skaven thrower who's got a 3 plus chance, but he's got sure hands, so he gets the reroll. So what we've got here is the chance of the gutter runner doing it. Okay, so the gutter runner has got a 5 in 6 chance of succeeding, because on a 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, he's managed to pick up the ball. Whereas the thrower needs to get a 3 or more on one of his dice. So that means that we get this picture here. So now we've got, so this would represent a one on the first dice and a three on the next dice, a one and a four, a one and a five, and so on. So for these two rows here, he's used sure hands, and so he's picked it up on the second one. It's only if he rolls a one or a two on both of them that it fails. Okay, so these four, so he's got a four in 36 chance of failing, whereas the gutter runner has got a six in 36 chance of failing, because all of those represent the gutter runner having failed, because he rolled a one and he didn't actually get a chance to do it the next time. So the gutter runner has failed six times, the scaven thrower has failed four times, so the thrower has a better chance of um, picking up the ball than the gutter runner does assuming there's no reroll. If you've got a team reroll, then the gutter runner pictures the gutters gutter runner's picture becomes this, so he's got a 35 in 36 chance of picking up the ball. So it's virtually certain and then you've got this 1 in 36 here um, which is about um, slightly less than 3%. Okay. Uh, yes, so it's about 2.8% the chance of failing in the 1 in 36. So this is obviously the uh, double skulls probability as well. So that's the probability of rolling a double squalls, squalls, skulls, which is 1 in 36. Um, triple skulls is 1 in 216. And quadruple skulls, so double skull, reroll double skull, is 1 in 1296. So you can work out those probabilities. But where we came in was that 
basically a three plus with a reroll, so a protected three plus is better than a unprotected two plus, and that applies to dodging away, and it applies to um, uh, so if you are dodging away with uh, with an elf, a basic elf lineman, that would be on a two plus. If you are dodging away with a human catcher, that's three plus, but with dodge, and so the three plus with dodge would be better. So the general rule there is that three plus with a reroll is better than um, a two plus in general. Okay, same thing applies um, to blocking. So three plus without block again is what this represents. So three plus without block means that a push is okay, a defender stumbles is okay, a defender down is is great. Um, and so you don't want a turnover. So if basically when you're blocking you want to avoid a turnover. And two dice without block is better to avoid a turnover than one dice with block. Because a one dice with block is exactly the same as a two plus dodge in terms of avoiding a turnover from that point of view. Okay. Um, and then there are some other nice things you can do. Um, if you're a dwarf or a Norse player, then you've got block on loads of your players. And you might come up against some big scary other monsters, some Saurus or some Black Orcs. But the Black Orcs don't have block. And so that is good news. So what you can do there is half dice those. And if you half dice, then you get this lovely picture here. So half dice is what sometimes called a two dice and the opponent chooses. And so what you get then is this lovely picture where any of the green squares are okay because you haven't rolled a skull on either dice. So you've rolled either both down, push, defender stumbles or defender down on both of the dice. There's no skulls. This is a double skulls, this is a skull on one of the dice and this is a skull on the other dice. And so the chance of a turnover if you do uh, a half dice is 11 in 36 which is um, which is just less than the third so broadly speaking a two dice uphill block with block is about the same probability of a turnover as a three plus dodge so a three plus is approximately the same um, as a um, as a as a half dice half dice block there because you've got 25 in 36 and 24 in 36 chance of success or basically avoiding failure on those ones um, and so what you need to do with any um, probability thing that you're doing in your head is just imagine a table like this and just imagine how many of those represent a a failure um, and then you should be able to make some um, some decent decisions there. When you get into three dice, it gets more complicated. When you have a team reroll, which you can apply to different situations, that gets quite complicated as well. Um, but there's all sorts of uh, all sorts of fun things you can do with that one. But uh, that is the basics of probability when applied to Blood Bowl.